We're about to test 1,000 of the most insane life hacks like escaping from a car underwater, how to win any game at the arcade, and so much more. A lot of these life hacks could literally save your life, so make sure you watch until the end. For this first life hack, we're gonna show you guys two ways on how to escape from a car that's fully submerged underwater. And right now, I'm gonna put myself in that situation to show you guys exactly what to do. So the first way and easiest way to escape from the car is wait until the water reaches the top of the glass. That means the pressure is now equalized and then you can open the door. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Oh my God, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is remain calm. Can remain calm. Remain calm! The water's filling up! As you guys can tell, the car is slowly filling up with water. And before it fills up all the way, you want to take one last final breath and wait for it to equalize. Okay. <gasps> They're still waiting for the water to fill up. I don't know how he's holding his breath for so long. No! <laughs> ah, I did it! Okay! Alright, that's the first way to escape. But if that doesn't work, then later on in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what else to do. Oh my god. <laughs> they need an extra air bubble. Here's the quickest way to put on a swimming cap. You just fill it up with water and drop it over someone's head. Bro, oh, what the hell, dude? What the Here's a science life hack. According to the law of physics, if you swing that bowling ball from where you're standing, it won't hit you. Oh! Oh! Well, that didn't work. Another life hack to make you feel better is a bomb massage. <laughs> Give me the bomb. If you're ever locked in a trunk, here's two ways to escape from it. The first way is by locating the emergency trunk release. And the second I pull on the trunk release, it should easily open. While they're out trying other life hacks, I'm gonna help them get the counter up by showing you this cool life hack on how to cut fruit. Guys, okay. guys. But if the car doesn't have an emergency trunk release, here's the second way to escape. Look for the tail lights in the corners of the trunk, push out the tail lights, and then wait for help. This next life hack is for the boys. Just a regular picture of a finger, right? Well, you're gonna hit edit, then straighten. Boom, make it straighter, go to horizontal. Oh dang, look at that, it's so big, thick as hell now. Yeah, y'all better like and subscribe after that. Guys, guys, guys! I'm just gonna wait until they get back. Here's a life hack that movies use to voice over their slaps. As you can tell, these slaps aren't real and they're actually voiced over. Earlier, I said I was gonna show you guys two ways how to escape out of your car if it's sinking underwater. And if you can't open your door, the next thing you wanna do is take off your headrest and use this part to break through the window. But instead of aiming for the center, you wanna aim for the edges because they're weaker and easier to break. Check this out. <laughs> And after that, you wanna create an opening large enough so you can escape through the window to safety. Apparently, if you put a ring of salt around a Tesla, it can't drive. And right now, we're gonna test that out. All right, let's see if it works. Moment of truth. What the? Wait, what the f Shut up, It's no. saying there's something in front of me. It says stop, <laughs> look, look at this, it says stop. I think the salt might be glitching out the Tesla. I literally can't drive, guys. Well, if your friends have a Tesla, you can prank them doing this. If you have an empty jar of Nutella, don't throw it away. Let me show you what you can do with it. Start by pouring milk inside the empty jar of Nutella, then shake the jar for about 10 seconds. All right. And finally, Nutella chocolate milk. Yo, that is the best milk I've ever had in my life. Oh my god! Oh, dude, that is so good! Would your dog protect you during a home invasion? Well, a lot of people get big dogs to feel safe. And I actually have a Dalmatian here, and they're known as one of the most protective guard dogs. And right now, I'm gonna put them through the ultimate test. <laughs> yeah! Oh, 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 I would definitely say he passed because he's only six months old, but imagine a year from now, he'd have been in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> if you need to switch lanes and you see those traffic tubes, apparently you can just drive right through them. <laughs> 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 yeah.
It's plastic. For this next life hack, I'm gonna show you guys how to quickly turn mud into drinking water in a survival situation. Take a piece of clothing of any kind, like a t-shirt, and scrape up some of this mud and place it onto the t-shirt. Wrap the shirt up and wring it out into a container of some kind. So now you have two choices. You can either boil this and it'll be safe to drink, or you can use a water filter. Pour the murky water into this bag, and now you screw the water filter into the bag. So now you can either drink it straight from the bag or pour it into a container to drink. What? Yo, no yo. No so no check out how murky the bag is, and this literally instantly purifies the water with this filter. This actually tastes like regular bottled water. <laughs> Crazy. Amazing. No way, I can't believe it works. Here's how to defend yourself against a knife attack in five easy steps. Keep moving! Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and final step. That last step was optional. But the best way to actually defend yourself against a knife attack is to always run. But if you're cornered and can't run, that's also a really good alternative. For this next life hack, if you need to use the restroom in public and can't find a toilet, head to your nearest Home Depot. <laughs> Did you flush? The reason why your Instagram photos upload at very low quality is because you're doing this wrong. So you want to go to your settings, then you want to scroll all the way down until you see data usage and media quality, and then you hit upload at highest quality. And that's how you upload your pictures at the fullest quality. For the next life pack, oh sh Here's a useful rhyme to remember what to do in the event of facing each bear. If it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. And if it's white, good night. Why do you have to find the black one, huh? <laughs> now I'm just playing, man. I'm gonna show you guys this math life hack. We all know 16, that is. Four squared. Nine is three squared. What do we have here? A difference of squares. Perfect. Four plus three times four minus three. To multiply that four and four is 16. Negative 12. Three and four is 12. Three and negative three is negative nine. Cancel out the 12s. 16 minus nine. Perfect. Let's come over here. 16 minus nine. The nine is bigger than the six, so you borrow from the one. And now that gives us 16 minus nine. I'm gonna show you guys how to escape from a chair if you're tied up from the front. Yeah. You wanna put your hands above your head. As you're going down, spread your elbows at the same time, like this. <sighs> This is a life hack that everyone should know because it can save your life one day. I gotta get out of here before Bubba comes back. And now we're up to here, and again we have 16 minus nine, and... All right, I'm done. If you accidentally get permanent marker on yourself, you can remove it with coconut oil. To rub it harder? Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> oh, it's working. It's working. Yeah. Oh, wait, let me try, let me try. Ooh, rub that subscribe button like I'm rubbing Caleb. Hey, yo! Subscribe! I'm just gonna go get it off myself. <laughs> rub that out. A few moments later. Hey guys, can I join the picture? <laughs> if you don't feel like sharing all your pizza with your friends, pay attention to this next life hack. Step one, cut yourself a huge slice right down the middle. And once you reconnect the pizza, continue slicing it like nothing ever happened. They are never going to know. And you can save yourself the biggest slice. <clears throat> You're never going to try this on me though, right? <laughs> no, because we're not even friends. Damn! <laughs> For the next life hack, if you don't want that to happen to you, you can actually use the back of the hammer to hold the nail for the first swing. <gasps> Dang, that actually worked! That's actually crazy! I guess you could say we nailed that life hack. <laughs> <laughs> for this next life hack, we're going to show you guys how to expose someone's true laugh, and all you have to do is press down on their chest. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a pig to lay down, all you have to do is scratch his belly. 
Wow. Oh, and also, I still haven't decided a name for her, so comment down below if you think her name should be Pretty or Skinny. Yeah. 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 If you're getting choked, put your hand underneath the rope, your feet on the dashboard, find the mechanical lever, push down and push out. And that's how you get out. Huh? Papa ain't done with you, Sean! Sean, are you okay? Yeah, we were just looking for the keys. Yeah! 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 If you have soggy cold pizza, the best way to reheat it is to drop it on a pan and put in two ice cubes. Oh, dude! Oh my gosh! This is a brand new pizza! Dude, dude no, no, like I'm literally a dude, brand new pizza. Oh my god! From soggy and cold to nice and warm. For this next life hack, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the perfect picture of your pet. And all you need is a slice of ham to place it behind your camera. Good boy! Good boy! So we're losing our basketball game really bad right now because the other team is really tall. And right now, we're gonna show you guys how to create your own really tall seven foot teammate. Hell yeah! I tried. I still lost. I guess I wasn't good enough playing with them balls. For the next life hack, if you want to meet Batman, all you have to do is commit a crime at night. You wanted me? Well, here I am. If you're Ubering from the airport, you can literally take a free shuttle to go outside of the airport, call to Uber from there, and save over 50%. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? I said I don't have a driver's license, but I've never been in an accident. You, you've never had one, or you just forgot to renew it? I, um, um... How did Uber let you sign up if you don't have a license? Wait, you work for Uber, right? Guys, keep it down back there. I'm trying to sleep. So before I go to sleep, I'm going to show you guys this life hack on what to do if you're too lazy to turn your own lights off. <laughs> Alright, and I'll see you guys in the morning. So I only slept for three hours last night, and that's because we still have a lot more scenes left to film before the 24 hours is up. And one way to instantly feel not as tired is to take an ice cold bath. Oh my god, I don't know if I want to do this. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is cold. I think I'm ready to go film some more scenes. For this breakfast life hack, you can actually cook an egg using two flashlights. All you need is tin foil, and you actually want to face the flashlights towards each other. That way, it acts as a conventional oven, and it'll start cooking the egg. And we're gonna check back on this later. If you ever go to the beach, go to the nude beach, so you can grab that. <sighs> what the hell, Sean? It's me. Oh! Even better. What do you mean, even better? <laughs> I thought that was some ad. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how to pop your entire back in a few seconds. Raise your leg, push up, and slide your arm across like this. And twist your back at the same time. Oh! oh. It's been 30 minutes, so let's see what happened. Yo! Wait, what the? <laughs> that is actually the coolest thing ever. Oh, oh. look at that. Taste test. Taste test. It's actually really good. A hard boiled egg. Tastes oh, like yeah. a hard boiled That's egg. That's what it is. A yeah. hard boiled egg. That's good. <laughs> so if you're out in the wild and you need to start a fire, all you need are some dry wood, dead leaves, steel wool, and a battery. If you start rubbing the end of the battery next to the steel wool, it'll slowly start a fire. Oh my god, that's actually amazing. Look, that's so cool. Oh shoot. Oh wow. Oh. Starting to work. Okay. Oh, all right. right. That actually worked. Ooh. And now we're nice and warm. Notice how I got slapped there because I didn't have my guard up. I'm going to show you guys the life hack on how to defend yourself against a slap. 
For the next life hack, if you have to perform CPR, just follow the beat of the song, Staying Alive. Hit it, Sean. <laughs> stay alive, stay alive. All right, hey, you know what? <laughs> if I woke up hearing that I would just drown myself all over. That was terrible. <laughs> For the next life hack, you get a free refill of a bucket of chicken at KFC. We just finished our chicken and we're about to get a free refill. Can we get a refill of our bucket of chicken? Can we do that? Yeah, if it's on the chicken, thank wow, you. Wow, thank you, thank oh, you. It actually worked, no way. I'm gonna show you guys how to easily scroll between apps on your phone. Instead of swiping up and then scrolling, you can easily just scroll like this. For this next life hack, there's actually a scientific way to hit the jackpot. Hold the hammer up at a 90 degree angle, and then let gravity do its job. Oh! We won! If your friends talk about you behind your back, just turn around. When you're done pooping, always be sure to put the lid down before flushing the toilet so the poop particles don't fly in the air and get on your toothbrush. Mm. Or you can just eat the poop before flushing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how to drive it to the rim every time. He's driving it! He's about to drive in! Apparently, if you don't have shoes, you can use balloons as a replacement. Ah! Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> if you want to dry your shoes and you don't want your dryer going crazy, all you have to do is leave the shoestrings out. <gasps> Just like that. Quiet and it blends in with my sound. I'm gonna tell you guys some quick survival life hacks that could save your life. If you ever get bitten by a snake and you wanna know if it's venomous or non-venomous, a venomous bite will have two fang marks and a non-venomous bite will look like this. If you see a shark approaching you in the ocean, do not splash. Splashing will actually cause more attention letting the shark know to approach you. And if a crocodile ever grabs you, jab at its eyes or nostrils. And if you can, shove your arm down its mouth and it'll activate its gag reflexes and it'll let go of you. Well, I got another way to make it gag. For this life hack, you can actually buy one, get one free at any self-checkout. So I'm not gonna pay for this one. And I'm gonna pay for this one. The only thing you're getting for free is vengeance. Here's how you can get the perfect orange slices. So you take an orange and slice it in half, and then you push the orange out from the back. Beautiful, look mm. at that, perfect. I'm gonna show you guys an easy way to open your pill and vitamin bottle. So we all know pill bottles are very hard to open, but you can just push down on this tab right here and it'll twist right off. Or you can just flip the lid upside down and twist it on like this, and you don't even have to push down. <laughs> Oh, let me try, let me try. For your vitamin bottles, instead of pushing down and twisting it open, you want to just pop open the bottle instead, like this. And now, you can just simply twist it open. Here's a life hack for when you're bored. This is a paper airplane launcher that can throw your airplane thousands of feet. Oh! Well, that didn't work. So for the next life hack, you're gonna get a hot dog and a... Here, where's, where's, where's the hot dog? Where's the right hot here. dog? We got this oh. hot dog right here. Oh, All right. What the hell? So we're gonna take this and use a Costco pizza, roll it up in a, like a burrito. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. now we got a hot dog pizza burrito. Woo! <laughs> You're pretty good at eating that sausage. Oh yeah, it tastes good. Oh yeah. A little over a year ago, I surprised Alex with his dream pet, a Maine Coon. But sadly, he passed away before his first birthday. And ever since then, Alex has been extremely sad. But after a few months of searching and a trip to Europe, I finally found something to hopefully make Alex feel better. All right, Alex. I know this is something that you've wanted for the past few months. And I actually have a surprise for you. Open your eyes. This isn't real. This is a dream. You got me a maker? Yeah, three months old. What's his name? I think you should be the one to name him. Oh my gosh. Or we can name him together. Oh my gosh, look at him, guys. Look at him. Thank you, Alex. Click here to see what a $1 million plane ticket looks like.